Welcome back, y'all. All right, if y'all are a fan of the NBA, you know the story at this point. John Morant was flashing and packing on IG Live. Now he's packing on the bench. He's out the first 25 games of the season, which could really hurt his Memphis Grizzlies squad going forward. But this suspension got me thinking, with the new MVP rules for the NBA, could John Morant miss 25 games, 25 games, play the last 57, and still win an MVP? Thankfully, we have the world of 2K to find out. So first things first, make sure y'all leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get John Morant an MVP. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been 25 games. The Grizzlies are currently 11 and 14, but they got their boy, John Morant, is coming back to the lineup. Thankfully, John Morant, welcome back. It's about to get his first touches of the season. So now I need to get John MVP in 57 games. Is that possible? Probably not, but we're going to find out. So a couple things need to be done in order to potentially pull this off. Uh, his shot tendency needs to be through the roof. I totally went by it. My bad, y'all. There we go. All right. All his shot tendencies, I don't want all of them up, but his touches, all that should be up to 99s, and they are. So that's good. He's getting 36 minutes a game. Um, That's changing. So Santi, listen, Santi, you're nice and all, bro, but I'm not looking for crazy amounts of wins here. I'm looking for Ja to play most of the minutes. Like 44. That, uh, 44 is wild. That's wild. Okay, 42 fine if i need to up it uh i will do that but we'll figure that out all right so john is gonna be playing 42 minutes a game we're just gonna simulate the first game of the season to see if he's even gonna put up mvp numbers in that uh game against the wow they won by 37 okay 34 and 13 that is mvp numbers right there hopefully it wasn't a fluke we'll go to the next one just to be sure he's got the pacers that is another win welcome back oh welcome back john dude 42 and 11 okay we might be able to pull this off uh let me give it a few weeks and see how we're doing i'll sim to like after the trade deadline and see how john's doing so around the trade deadline right now john's putting up 37 a game he's almost averaging a double double with those assists and he's he's just shooting like crazy and he's not in the running only because how many games has he played that's the thing we have to figure out how many games he's played so far this year all right he's only played 27 games this year so i don't know at what point it registers in the mvp race we're like oh jaws played enough games to be in this race so we'll simulate to like the second the last week and see if ja is even in the running i don't even think he will be because like i feel like 57 is too little to win mvp in my opinion but i'm pretty sure there has been mvps in nba history that have played less games than 57 and won mvp like i think bill walton's a prime example i think he i don't think he played it was in the 50s or 40s somewhere i think it might like early 50s so you never know the grizzlies are just going on a tear right now though bro if ja wins and then not even mvp a finals in his um suspension season that would just be a w in itself so we're on to the last week of the season we'll go into the award races uh yeah he's not even involved um he's outplaying all of these guys and he's not even involved just 57 games is too little y'all apparently i guess that's it i mean 37 and dude if he just played the whole year it'd be a lock it, there's no 37 a game is crazy we're about to simulate the last game of the season that really hurts so that jaw is just not even not even in motion prove running like nothing Nothing at all. Jazz not. Okay. It just wasn't enough. Okay, that's fine. Jokic averaging a triple double is going to get it. Devin Booker was a runner up for MVP. That's a shout out to D Books, man. If D Books ever wins an MVP, I would actually be pretty happy because he's solid. But Ja was the leading scorer in this league this year, man. Like, I I don't know what happened. 57 is just too little in the eyes of 2K. That's, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, ja didn't even make an all NBA team, so that wasn't even enough for that. Man, even if, if he had a 15 game suspension, I think he would have pulled it off. But 25 is just too much. That was the experiment. That's what I wanted to find out. But I also want to find out if they win the. Uh, finals at all so they got the uh trailblazers up first they should take care of them in five games all right beautiful now they got the warriors that might be a little bit tougher ja is gonna get out of there in five games as well i mean he's still putting up crazy numbers in the playoffs he's in the conference finals against the pelicans do they beat them and they they did oh my god with seven games western conference finals 40 a game you're telling me this man stuck they could have at least considered it even if he was in the running i would have taken that ja has got his hands full with the sixers game one's the sixers game two's the grizzlies game three's the grizzlies game four is the Sixers game five? Is the Sixers? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. You know, if we get a close game, I'll jump in and watch Ja work. Because, I mean, he's just having one hell of a playoff run right now. But it's looking like the Sixers are going to run away with this one. Yep, Philly's about to get themselves a chip. Hey, Ja gave it all he had. I mean, 38 a game in the playoffs, 37 a game in the regular season. He, he, he gave it a valiant effort. You can't blame the man for trying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to run another experiment. I'm going to sit Ja the first 15 games of the season, and we're going to see if that's enough. Ja's up to a 96 overall, by the way, after that his crazy year, career year that he had at the age of 24. That's just insane. All right, like I said, I don't care too much about winning. Ja's going to sit the first 15 games of the season. So the boys are 5 and 10 through their first 15, so now here's where Ja steps in, and he's getting 39 a game. We're going to give him a few more minutes a game like we did last year. We're going 
gonna take a few from these guys. We'll put them up to 43 minutes a game, which I feel like is wild, but it's pushing it. But we're not, we're gonna find out if Ja can miss 15 games and win a final MVP. I keep saying finals MVP, an MVP. And ladies and gentlemen, through the first like five or so games, he's averaging 35 a game and 10 assists. So he's putting up MVP numbers. So he very well could be in the running at least. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ja was runner up for MVP. So he was in the conversation. He didn't have quite as insane of a year as he did last year, but you know, 15 games he missed and he was runner up. I can't be upset at that. So 15 is possible. 25 is impossible. That's what we learned today. The Grizzlies themselves are the eighth seed in the play -in, So let's just see if they make it out of the play -in. Nah, Now nah, they cook. They done. They couldn't win either one. I mean, John almost had a 2020 game. Shout out to him. But that's all she wrote for John Morant, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed this video, here's another video for y'all right here. Make sure you leave your video ideas down below. If I use it, I'll give y'all 100% credit. But other than that, guys, it's been Teebs. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.